So the two sessions, as you know, represents a very important moment for China at the beginning of, of every year because it really sets the tone uh, for the direction for the, the coming year. The development of the financial sector and efficient and well-developed uh, capital markets, well-regulated capital markets is a central element of uh, a modern economy. I'm also hoping that the two sessions will produce outcomes that will facilitate and enable the further uh, um, opening up of the financial and capital markets. One of the important aspects also that we'll be looking at for the, um, in terms of the outcomes of the two sessions mm -hmm. is this focus on high quality growth. As you know, in the past, China grew at double digit um, rates for more than two uh, decades. Mm -hmm. That era is now over. China's moving into a new era, which is much more focused on the quality of that growth. In terms of climate policies, it is today the single largest producer of renewable uh, energy, the single largest investor in renewable energy, in solar energy, in wind power, and, and so on. And we play a role in financing those projects, not only in China, but also in other BRICS countries. We are specifically and uniquely designed to deal with challenges that go across borders, like a pandemic, for example. A pandemic like COVID, you cannot just solve it in one country. If the pandemic is in Bangladesh, India is right next door, it will also affect India. If it is in South Africa, it will also affect our neighboring countries. You need institutions that are global in character that can deal with these types of, of uh, challenges that are cross-border. Uh, so multilateral banks now are looking, what can we do to increase the size of our lending are there ways in which we can double or potentially even treble um, the annual uh, lending so that we can help our countries with their green transition? Because 2022, as you know, has been a very, very challenging year. Uh, it's a year of energy insecurity, of very high interest rates, of uh, food insecurity, uh, geopolitical tensions, uh, sanctions on a number of uh, member countries. Against that backdrop, the bank has been very pleased that it's been able to navigate through all of these multiple uh, crises. And what this will do now, it will enable the bank to grow its business, increase its lending throughout the BRICS uh, uh, countries, and also expand its membership base. The bank expanded beyond the BRICS countries to also include United Arab Emirates, mm -hmm. Egypt, Bangladesh, and Uruguay would be the last uh, of the new members to uh, join.